Hi Aquarius. Welcome to Willow Oak. This is Olivia and I am here to do a reading for you for the month of September. It's a general reading. So please only take what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? And you might check your other placements. Say your um, rising moon, Venus signs for a more complete picture or if this reading does not resonate with you, okay? And yes, I have a wonky hand at the moment. Well, actually wrist and arm. I hurt them. A change in the wind. A change is on its way. Mm -hmm. And just to let you know, I did two readings prior to this one and it didn't have this card, but definite changes. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get another one. And I like to take the Oracle cards first because it gives us a lot of information about what's coming up during the month. So it um, kind of sets the stage, so to speak, as this kind of a broad overview. And I hope you've had a wonderful August and that this is also going to be a wonderful upcoming month. Reclaim your power. Oh, okay. Well, I would say it looks like you are going to reclaim your power because it changes in the wind. Let's get another card. So do you feel like something has happened recently? Or it could be an extended period of time, actually where something has happened or you've had a relationship with somebody or something where you feel like um, your power has been diminished. Something for you to think about. It could be either, you know, long-standing or short, but something could have happened where you feel like it kind of sapped your power. Nothing is yet set in stone. Okay. Let's get one more. Hmm. Definitely need some tarot here. Find out more. Let me go again. It's, all, it's kind of hard to knock on these cards. Space. Oh, I can see that. Mm -hmm. What this card is saying, it's possible that there is a void in your life somewhere. And I could see that here. If you've given your power away to something. But it does not have to be a void. What it could be is that your life is fine the way it is that but you're wanting to add something to your life so this could be both I would say the potential exists that there is a void because it's telling you that you need to reclaim your power but it could also be you know in addition to that it, there's just something you want to put in your life okay Let's see what we get with the tarot. And we will clarify anything that needs to be clarified. But it does look like this month there's definite changes coming in. Mm -hmm. If you hear me giggle, it's because I'm trying to figure out how to do this with my hand. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. You are changing. Now, this doesn't say that there's some bad thing you're leaving behind or some challenge you're leaving behind. But this little dark spot here for me is the past, right? Or what will be the past. What this is saying is you are done. Mm -hmm. You are finished where you are. 
that it is time for you to move on. Where you want to go or are going is to your happiness, where there is joy, protection, um, love, pentacles, anything that it is that you're wanting lies in front of you and you're going to that. So that definitely goes in with the change in the wind. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get another card. Okay, or two. Beautiful. Okay. Here you have justice. So if somebody has done you wrong in any way, justice is here to make it right, to balance those skills. Okay. And it's also about balance. You see the big skills there. It's bringing in balance. And here, what came out with it is death and rebirth. So this is letting you know that you are ending one cycle and beginning something new. And we could definitely see that in these Oracle cards. Yeah. But that's real. I'm glad to see this. Definitely. All three of these, actually. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck from taking that card, you have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is very smart, very resilient. She is a no frills kind of energy. All she wants is the truth, right? So to me, she's very impactful, especially here. Okay, let's see what else we have. Oh, and I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not. Um, if you hear noise in the background, please accept my apologies. They decided they were going to mow. So it's creating, you know, some background noise. Beautiful. Um, let's see. It was either Scorpio or Leo. I think it was Scorpio. You had the same card in the same position. Could have been Leo. One of the two. Just FYI. Okay, this is saying that you are very strong. So no matter what's going on here, you're going to be great, okay? Because you are very strong. And you do tend to show your strength through kindness and compassion. But don't mistake that, right? If you need to have your lion, so to speak, come out, it certainly can. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, you have the Magician. Another beautiful card. And this is an action card, actually. And what this is saying is you have everything you need to create the change in your life that you want to create. And you can create any reality that you want. You have the power to do that. But it's saying start by taking action. Okay? Get the change going. It's a very good card. And here I would say it's a beautiful card. Yeah. Okay. Let's get some more tarot. And just to let you know, I couldn't resist. I got this deck. It's called, uh, I believe the dark mansion tarot. And I couldn't help it because I love whimsical art and it's just full of whimsical images. So I love it. But I would, you know, if you would like to share, I'd like to know if you're comfortable with this or not, because you know, tarot can be serious. And not that this isn't, but it's just very whimsically illustrated. So, if you're not comfortable with this, please let me know. I just couldn't resist it. Okay.
let's get first card. Seven of Cups. Oh, and I can totally see this. This is saying that you have choices, right? And you do have choices. You can see this here, change in the wind. Choice, right? I could go through all these, but there's no need. You can see them here. You have choices. And what I would say is make the best choice or choices for you. And it's coming out underneath the Six of Swords, which is saying that you are going to your happiness. You're leaving behind whatever it is where you're just done for whatever reason, okay? And here is saying, make the choices that support that change, all right? Let's get another card. Or two. It's whatever the universe wants. Unless there's like ten of them or something. <laughs> uh, I would open my mouth, huh? Okay. We have three. This one came out first, I think. This is the sun. So, this is saying that you are going to be very, very happy, okay? This is the very best card in the deck. You're going to be very happy with your life. And it's also like, remember over here on The Magician, I said, just get started, you know? Create this change. And the same thing kind of here. Get started. When you get started doing something, the sun is going to come in, help whatever it is you're doing, to flow into you. And, you know, it's just envision swimming upstream versus just kind of floating downstream. You still make all the choices. You just don't have the fight, right? It just flows. So this is an absolutely beautiful card. Okay, here we have the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is talking about you learning, okay? Um, finding out what you need to know. Potentially going um, to a higher source, right? And it could be your connection with the divine. Or it could be, some, you know, a variety of things. A higher source, like um, college. It could be um, Googling something. Okay, just to let you know, right as I was talking about this, um, the camera quit. Okay, so there might be something here that you really need to focus on. Yeah, that was strange. Um, maybe this is saying, pay attention to this. You know, you maybe you really do need to learn something about going on, all right? Is that that's odd. Like I said, that's the first time that's happened. I've had the camera quit before, but this <laughs> is a little different. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. You have the Empress. Very, very powerful card. And the Empress, in a sense, has some similarities to the Sun. Remember I talked about you starting to take action and the sun brings things to you. What it is you're wanting to do, right? You, you get started and the sun just brings it in. It flows in. It's not like swimming upstream. The same can be said for the empress. Very powerful and beautiful things flow in. Love, happiness, joy. And the empress is very abundant. She is full of ideas that she nurtures, okay? It also, um, yeah, abundance is a big part of this. So is happiness. And there's her castle, which is your castle, okay? Beautiful. All right, let's see what else we get. 
But yeah, oh, I just, the candle went out too. I'm going to have to look back when I edit this video and see when the candle went out. Mm -hmm. See if it was anywhere close to that. Okay, very interesting, Aquarius. <laughs> okay, let's get another card. Two of Swords. Okay, this is where you need to make a decision. Okay? And you're blindfolded, which is talking about you putting yourself in kind of a solitary energy because you know that this decision must come from within. You need to use your wisdom your intuition to create, not really create, but to decide on what is right for you, okay? And just to let you know, at the bottom of the deck from taking that card, it's also another two, two of wands, which says that you are now strategizing on how you're going to go forward. And it might very well be that you're going to be leaving something behind, okay? So the um, number two could be important as well. And if you want to take a little further, here's a two. Here's 44. Half of that's 22, right? So two could be important here. And let's see what's at the bottom. Uh, oh, please excuse me. Not only did I hurt my arm, I bumped my head. <laughs> No funny jokes. I mean, I really did. I have a great big black eye. <laughs> but, okay, so you have two twos here, which could mean something. I would try to pay attention to the number two. I would. Um, let's see. Six, divisible by two, right? But anyway, okay. We're going to take a couple clarifying cards, but just to let you know, what I see throughout here is change, again. And every sign that I've done so far up to this point has had change. Different reasons, different things, but change. So yeah, you're done where you are. You're going to reclaim your power, and there's going to be justice and balance. Okay? And you are very strong. You're going to use your magician energy. Make the right decision, which it totally looks like you are. You have the sun and the empress in this column with death, rebirth, and justice. So, okay, here, if you take a look, let me scoot this over, take a look at these. Everyone in the center column is major arcana. So this isn't little change. This is major change, all right? This is a big deal. Justice, death, rebirth, the sun, the hierophant, and the empress. So this is a big change, okay? So you should definitely notice something. And here, another major arcana, major arcana, right? So you have, of course, minor arcana here as well but you have a lot of major arcana. So that would say some of these are, you know, smaller, you know, not as impactful things, but you have enough major arcana here, especially in the center column to say, this is huge, okay? So keep your eyes open. And you remember this space, because of this card mostly, I tend to think this isn't a void, but there is a, definite problem right could be a void no I take that back it could very well be a void because you've somehow given away or somebody or something tried to take your power so yeah 
this could very well be a void because something has potentially taken some of your power which you need to get back so it could be that you want to fill this space with the power that somehow got sapped from you okay but it could also be in addition to that something else as well not that just you want to put your power back but that you know here this big change beautiful powerful energy so it could be in addition to putting your power back creating this wonderful change okay let's go ahead and get a clarifying card for the panther spirit <laughs> beautiful okay the panther spirit reclaim your power is being clarified by the death card which you already have here so this is the universe's way of saying I meant what I said in order for you to reclaim your power you are transforming out of one energy and into a new energy makes perfect sense so to me there a huge link between this and this whole column okay so to reclaim your power you are creating a huge change and it's not just a change it's one where you know things are going to start flowing into you there's justice there's balance there's learning it's beautiful okay Let's go ahead and um, clarify space. Well, I just dropped it. Okay. Space. You have the Two of Swords again. So, once again, this is the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. Decision that has to be made. And you have the Five of Wands, which is talking about competition of some sort. And it's um, not really fighting. It's more about training, learning. That goes in your space as well. So here... This is the universe's way, again, of saying I meant what I said, right? So you need to make some sort of a decision. And this is about space. And learning some sort of a competition, potentially. So to me, what this is saying, in order to put whatever it is into the space that you want, there might be some sort of a competition, something that you... You know it's not just gonna land on your lap you have to go get it and a decision you have to make some sort of a decision mm -hmm. so this is kind of complex it's kind of hopping around here I think it's all related definitely but <laughs> you know it's like playing chess okay now let's get one more card for the two of swords well maybe one the lovers alrighty well the lovers can talk about um, a romantic relationship or it can also talk about choices so it could be either one this is something that only you will know I am sure that this is talking about choices you can see choices throughout here 
But this could also say that there has been a romantic relationship where it has not been like 50-50, right? Now, in any relationship, there's going to be 60, 40, 80, 20, etc. But the whole idea is to try to stay as close to 50-50 as possible so things are mutual and fair. But if you are in a relationship, it looks like problems have potentially been a part of you losing your power, some of your power. If there is no relationship, then it could be choices, just, you know, choices about something like the change in the wind, what choice are you making, etc. And you have to decide that. And that goes over here into filling the space. Like I said, it's kind of, this almost looks like a chess board to me because I could see all kinds of different things here. They all relate, but lots going on. Mm-hmm. But I can tell you by this center column, for sure, and here, it's going to be wonderful, okay? You're going to deal with this, go to your happiness, which will end up making wonderful things flow to you because you're going to put your magician energy into practice. And here you have the Two of Swords. Here you have the Two of Swords, which are choices. Here you have another two, which is saying you might very well be leaving something behind. Okay? Now here, nothing is yet set in stone. So, what that is saying to me is choices, right? You could choose to stay, or there could be many choices, right? Which choice to pick? Totally up to you. But like I say with this card, pick the very best choice or choices for you. Okay. Right when I started to shuffle, guess what fell out? Mm-hmm. So this is from the universe. So now that makes the two of swords times three. And what I would say with that is, again, pay attention to number two. But really what I would say with that is the, the universe is really trying to give you a big message here. Make the right choice. And if you look at the Empress, she is the number three. You have three twos. Make the right choice. And it's going to be wonderful. But make for sure you make the right choice. Okay? And I didn't even get the first shuffle out before this jumped out. So I'd say that's a big message from the universe. Oops. Messed up the cards. Okay. See what we have. Beautiful. Okay. What that's saying is you are definitely making the right choice. Yay. It's 11-11. Celebration time. Okay. And it's almost like you go, you celebrate, and you walk right through that door into your new beginning. Beautiful. Love it. Oh, and take a look at this. At the bottom from taking that, once again... You have the Seven of Cups. Make the right choice. Okay? And I do think the um, universe is really trying to give you a message here because you've had a few different repeats. You've had the Seven of Cups. You've had transformation. You've had the Two of Swords times three. You've had the number two a lot. Yeah. So make the best choice so you end up being very, very happy, okay? But it looks like you are, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Which is awesome. Okay, let's get one more. 
Can you hear the rain now? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, take a look at this. The Two of Wands, which is right here. So you have it twice. So this is saying... I sound like a broken record, don't I? <laughs> this is saying that here and here, you were strategizing on how you want to go forward. Okay? You're making the plans on how to put this into action. And you could very well be leaving something behind. But yet, once again, this is the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. And it's also the number two. And so what's coming to me, the number two, is this. It could be something else or something in addition. But maybe it is a relationship that is either toxic or has issues. It doesn't have to be. It could be a relationship, say a relationship with somebody at work or work itself. Don't know. Okay. Oh, okay. Now take a look at the bottom of the deck from taking the Two of Wands. You have the Two of Pentacles, which is balance. Making a decision, right? Another two. Yeah. There's definitely something about the number two. For sure. I don't know how many times it's been repeated here, but a lot. Okay. But here, just to uh, bring this up one more time, you're on your way to something wonderful, okay? You are transforming. You are getting your power back. You are very strong. You're going to use your magician energy. The sun is here with you, and so is the empress. So while there is potentially this challenge, right, about getting your power back, Take a look at what's coming in. It's absolutely beautiful. So there could be a moment of angst. It doesn't necessarily have to be that way. You know, it's all how in how you handle whatever's going on. But the end result is going to be wonderful. Yeah. Like I said, you can't get any better than the sun. And look at the Empress, right? Wonderful energy. Okay, let's get an angel card. So, it totally looks like your September is going to be quite transformative and potentially quite busy. <laughs> that was an epic fail. I'll do that one again. Okay, let's see what comes up. Success. Yay! Way to go. Beautiful. You are going to successfully create the change that you need to create. So you can be in this beautiful, beautiful energy right here. Mm -hmm. The sun and the empress... And the magician, it's beautiful. Yeah. And you're going to be celebrating too. All right. So don't stress over whatever this is. This is one moment or one thing that you are working your way through. And there's a lot of help here in how to go about it. Okay. Let's get a turn. <laughs> you couldn't get a better charm. This butterflies are all about transformation. And I think this is the biggest butterfly I have in there. So, yeah, you're definitely transforming. And you're transforming in such a way that it is going to be beautiful. So thank you so much. I really hope this helps. If you like this reading, please give it a like, share, subscribe. It really, really does help my channel to grow, okay? And I hope you have a wonderful September. Much love. Bye.